this week's Sports Star Spotlight shines on a running back in the Washington, D.C. area. There are very few high schools that share the same mystique as DeMatha Catholic High School in Hyattsville, Maryland. It's a school synonymous with winning. Legendary basketball coach Morgan Wooten retired from DeMath as the winningest high school basketball coach ever. It's the winning tradition that made it easy for Bill McGregor to return to the Stags as head football coach after eight years away. It's something I think it's in your blood. You know, you're just, I just really love the Matha. Uh, I, I love everything it stands for, the, the brotherhood, the, the camaraderie, the uh, togetherness that exists here. McGregor should know. He built DeMath into one of the nation's top football programs during the 29 years he coached there before resigning in 2011. During those years, McGregor Stags won 18 Washington Catholic Athletic Conference championships, and he sent almost 400 players to Division I colleges. It's the kind of special program that would make an athlete want to travel more than two hours every day to play there. Meet Marshawn Lloyd, one of the top running backs for the class of 2020. Lloyd and his family live in Delaware, but they were so determined for Marshawn to play football and get an education at DeMatha that they go through a grueling daily commute just to make it to campus. An average Monday will be to get up at 4.45 a.m., um, get Marshawn up because his alarm never works. We'll get out the house around about 5. Sometimes when my mom, like before she, she had a job, she'll uh, drive me all the way, so we'll just leave at 5 and go all the way to the school, get there around like 7 something. And then we'll go to academic support, which is Ms. Phelan. She comes every uh, every morning from 7.15 to 8. Practice in around 6.30, and I'll get home around 9, 10, it's depending on the, the traffic, especially on Fridays. It's That's where it's really the worst. And uh, so I'll probably start over the day, and I'll probably be in bed probably about 11. The long days are worth it for Lloyd, because on Friday nights, he gets to show off his skills against some of the nation's top teams. Including DeMatha, the WCAC had four teams in the national top 25 last year. And while Marshawn patiently waited behind talented upperclassmen and was hampered by a broken forearm most of last year, the 2019 season has the makings of a big year for the senior. Lloyd has been a monster in the weight room. With his new bulk combined with his blazing speed, he looks to punish his opponents. But I got a little bigger, so I'm able to uh, withstand hits and and still able to have come back and run down the field. So my breakaway speed, I, I still have it, and but the weight that I gained helped me be able to withstand hits. He's a patient running back, and the great thing about Marshawn, anytime he touches the ball, he can score. He has just tremendous speed, tremendous vision, tremendous work ethic in terms of you know understanding where the hole is, how the hole is going to open up, and once he sees it, he's able to take it and go. Lloyd's football career almost never got started. His first youth football team refused to play him, and Marshawn started to get turned off by the sport. But mom took him to another team, and the rest was history. First game, Marshawn got on the field. It was, I didn't even know that he could play this well. I mean, he was remarkable. And the team, the one that didn't play him the prior year, says, he can't play on this team. He's still a part of our team. You didn't sign a waiver. Like, really, you didn't even know he was gone. So I wasn't going to allow them to do that to him because you didn't want him on your team when you had him. Since then, everyone has wanted him on their team, including just about every Division I program. But this summer, Lloyd put an end to his recruitment by verbally committing to South Carolina. Like, when you know, you know. Um, I feel like it was the place that I can be. It's a place where I can uh, mold and get better, a um, place where I think can help me go to the next level, and pretty much just everything just fit in the right place. The academics, I met the teachers. I felt like it was the place, so I, I chose South Carolina. And we were taking that long ride home. This was the day that I actually picked him up from DeMatha, and we were taking that long drive home, and he was like, I'm ready. And I was like, what? And he was like, I'm ready. I know where I want to go. Lloyd has a senior season to concentrate on before college, and this year will be a redemption tour for the Stags. In last year's WCAC championship, DeMatha and Gonzaga played in one of the wildest games ever played. With 29 seconds left and DeMatha down 40 to 36, a Marshawn Lloyd block helped spring a kickoff return for what appeared to be the game-winning touchdown. He's However, Gonzaga would throw a Hail Mary with four seconds left to win the game. It was a blow that took a while for Lloyd and his teammates to get over. After the game, I uh, went home and just like sat on the bed and just like looked at the wall. It was 
it was it was crazy. It, it's a heartbreaker. It's a really tough way to go, and yeah, you know, we lost a football game. But you know, this, this is a brand new year, brand new season. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be his senior year. It's going to be basically the seniors' team. Like I tell the tell the guys all the time, you know, you're going to take us where you want us to go. Yes, on the back of our weight room jerseys says finish. So we just have to be able to finish the game and not let what happened last year happen to us. And it actually says four seconds on the side of our weight room shirt. So it's, I guess they want us to remember it to make sure it doesn't happen again.